Hey everybody, it's Regan from The Fitness. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a 10 minute workout designed specifically for seniors. This one, you can do it every single day. There's one thing that's different about this program compared to a lot of other programs. The secret to kind of healthy aging through exercise, coming from say Harvard, the Journal of Preventative Medicine, and a bunch of different sports journals is the key is to actively focus on squeezing your muscles throughout the exercise. So we're gonna be very deliberate with our movements instead of just moving for the sake of it. I promise you, if you wanna get the fastest possible results, you need to think about actively squeezing the muscles. Promotes gaining muscle mass, maintaining muscle mass, it helps build strength. Really good for a whole lot of stuff. All right, enough of me talking. Let's get into the exercises. I'm gonna go through the exercises for one round of exercises, but I want you to start to build up to doing two or three sets of the exercises that follows. Okay, let's get started. Exercise one, and this is a chest and a back exercise. So I'm gonna start with my hands out at chest level. What I'm gonna do from here is take my arms all the way back and a big stretch in my chest and I want to actively squeeze the muscles in my upper back and then I come forward and then squeeze my hands together and this is activating all of the muscles in my arms and my shoulders. Come back, pause, come forward, contract again. You can see I'm being very deliberate with my movements. The goal here is to try and activate the muscles that we're working on. Contracting these upper back muscles, these are fantastic for our posture. Come together, squeeze. Oh, big stretch. I think we've got five left, I think. Come back, contract. Three to go. Two. Last one. Pause. Come through. Contract at the end. Oh, shake it out. So the next one we're going to do is for our hamstrings. So hamstrings, the back of the leg, and also for our glutes, so our bum muscles. These ones are called good mornings. So I'm going to start in, a, I guess, a strong standing position. You can see me okay? Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is hands on my hips, knees are slightly bent. Now what I'm going to do is hinge forward at the hips, taking my chest closer towards the ground, get to the point of a stretch, slight pause, come back up, contract the hamstrings and the glutes, and then we'll go down again. Pause. Come, nice. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but my legs are definitely shaking. I'm a little bit tight in the hamstrings today. So what am I doing with my breathing? Breathing in on the way down. Breathing out as I come up. Five to go, come down. Four left. Three to go. Two, come down, nice work, keep working. You can see I'm trying to keep my back nice and flat. Okay, last one, and come down and hold at the bottom in that stretch position for me. Come down, stay here for 10. Ooh, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way to the top. Contract your muscles, done. 
The next one we're going to do is with the chair, and these are going to be squats. I might just turn it this way so you can see me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back nice and deep in my chair. My feet are about hip width apart, and then my hands are out in front of me. Before I do this movement, I want to brace all of my muscles. So imagine I was in your house and I gently tried to push you over. You would contract all of your muscles, right, to make sure that I didn't push you over and resist. That's kind of the feeling I want you to have, is muscles tight before we start. So, hands out, brace the body, come up to the top, squeeze the bum, so the bum, uh, all of the leg muscles and my abs, and then I sit back for two seconds. One, two, slight pause, come up again, squeeze, keep working, hips back. Good work. So keep that tension on your muscles the whole time. Four to go. Three. Two left. Last one, let's go, if you come, contract, hips back, one, two, done. Boy, my legs are on fire. Okay, the next one we're going to do is push-ups. I've got a small wall here. What we're going to do with our push-ups is start with our hands a little bit wider than shoulder width, and they're at about chest height, I guess, before we start body stiff, and then slowly lower ourselves to the wall, Pause, come back up, contract all those muscles at the top. We're not resting and relaxing, okay? That's probably one of the mistakes that people make. They do their exercise and they're always relaxing at the end. We want to keep tension on our muscles the whole time. I'm going to use this wall here. Uh, up to you what you want to use. The, the easiest option, oh, the most vertical is easiest. And as you get kind of closer towards the ground, it gets a bit harder. So the next step from this, if you find this easy, is to maybe do them against a kitchen bench or a table or something like that. So, come over to your wall. I'm gonna turn my back on you, sorry. And I've got my hands on the wall, brace my body, and then down for two seconds. One, two, pause, come up, squeeze. Keep working with me. Keep that tension on your muscles. Five to go. Three left. Two. Last one. Up to the top, contract. Done. So there are our push-ups. We're done with those. The next one we're going to do is uh, a, a core and a balance exercise. So I'm going to start pretty close to my support, which is my chair. But you can do these against the wall if you'd like. I'm going to take the foot that's closest to the support, take it back about half a step. Sit up nice and tall. Now, knee up towards the chest. Pause. Come back down. Me. Up we come. Think about contracting these muscles at the top, abs and supporting leg. Nice work, keep working. So it's pretty tough on the balance. If you're finding this easy and you want to make it a little bit harder, try bringing that knee a bit closer to your chest. You can try that. Or you can try and reduce how much support you have on the chair. Three to go. Two. 
Last one. I want you to hold it at the top for five seconds before we stay here. Five, four, three, keep going. Two, one, and done. All right, last exercise. Foot, that's closest to chair, goes back. Lift that knee up for me. On our way to 10. Two. Keep working. We have four to go. Three. Two left. Last one, hold it at the top for me. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and all the way down. That is it, okay. So we just went through kind of one, um, one set of all of these five exercises. If you're brand new to doing this kind of stuff, you can do one, it's fine. Um, but I want you to start to build up to be able to do two or three sets of those exercises. That's where we're gonna get the biggest benefit. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if this was helpful, please make sure you like the video and then subscribe to the Fitneers YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss any future videos. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye everybody.